Okay, the diagram shows a station wave that's been formed between two fixed points. Okay, because the two fixed points at the end, we have to have nodes at the end. Okay, that's the important condition. And then here we've got an antinode in the middle. Okay, so this is the one type of station wave that can be formed between two fixed points, and this is called the fundamental, the first harmonic. However, you can get different types of um, harmonics being formed. So this is called the second harmonic. As you can see here, it still has nodes at both ends, but it's got a different number of antinodes, and then it's also got a node in the middle. Okay, and then you've got, uh, this is sometimes called as the first overtone as well. But more importantly, let's call it the second harmonic. Okay, this is the third harmonic. Okay, as you can see, it's got more nodes now and more antinodes. And you can think of this as being formed of three loops. Okay, and that's sometimes called the second overtone. And then, of course, we've got the fourth harmonic and the fifth harmonic. The thing that these all have in common is that at both ends, we've got a node, a fixed point between them. Okay, the two fixed points at the ends are one meter apart, or length, capital L. What is the wavelength of the fundamental of the first harmonic? Okay, so as you can see, there's only one loop in the first harmonic, okay? So, but you need two loops to make a whole wave. So we say that this has got a wavelength of actually 2L, or in other words, two meters in this case. So 2L, the wavelength for this one. For the second harmonic, well, as you can see, you can literally, you can see two loops there, and that shows a whole wave there. So we just say that's just one meter. The wavelength is one meter, so it's just L. Okay, so the third harmonic, how many loops can you see? So you should be able to see three loops there. Okay, so however, wavelength is only two loops. Okay, so what you do is you take that one meter, okay, or take the length L, divide it up by three because there are three loops, and you multiply it by two to give you the wavelength. Okay, so that's 0 0.67 meters. So one divided by three times two. Okay, the fourth harmonic, you can see four loops in total. So take the length, L divided by 4 times by 2. So it's just going to be half the length. So it's 0 0.50 meters. Finally, take the length L and they can see five loops in the fifth harmonic. But we only need two for a whole wavelength. So that gives us 0 0.40 meters. Okay, what about the frequency? So let's say the first harmonic, the, um, the fundamental has a frequency of 0 0.1 hertz. Okay, to figure out the second one, the second harmonic is actually going to have double the frequency. To figure that out, we need to look at this equation here. It turns out the speed is going to be a constant. Okay, so if we, the wavelength of the second harmonic is actually half uh, the wavelength of the first harmonic. So the frequency needs to be times two, uh, so the speed is the same. Okay, so that means that this is going to have 0 0.2 hertz, and then it's just going to be multiples of this. Okay, so there's just going to be multiples of the of, of frequency of the fundamental, the first harmonic. Okay, the diagram shows a station wave. State the name given to this mode. So we know it's not the fundamental or the first harmonic because it's got two loops in this one. Okay, so this is going to be the second harmonic. Okay, or sometimes known as the first overtone. Okay, the frequency of the wave is 0 0.25 hertz, calculate the frequency of the third harmonic. So this is the second harmonic. So if I want to figure out the frequency of the first harmonic, I'd have to divide this by two. Okay, so, so that gives us the frequency of the fundamental. And then times that by three, because the, the third harmonic would have three times the, more, um, the frequency of the first harmonic. Okay, so that gives us 0 0.38 hertz. Okay, the diagram shows a station wave in a pipe. As you can see, this is a longitudinal one. Okay, identify the harmonic slash mode shown in the diagram. Okay, so first you'll have to spot as many, all the nodes. Okay, so it turns out, if you look at the particles, you're looking for the particles that are moving. Uh, I can see some at the both ends. Okay, and then look for particles which are stationary, and you can spot all the nodes. Okay, and then what helps is drawing loops between them, like this. Okay, and then counting the number of loops, that, that will tell us how many harmonics it is. Um, so that's one, two, three, five loops. So this is the fifth harmonic. Okay, so the distance is between them from one end to another is two meters. We need to calculate the wavelength. Okay, so I'm going to take that two meters and chop it up into five because there are five loops and then multiply by two because two loops you need for a whole wave. Okay, that gives me 0 0.80 meters.